All right, now it's going to be fun. We want to do Asian and recruited for the Navy. Now that's a little bit tricky. Notice this part right here. That means we're looking for both. We're looking for an overlap. We haven't done this yet, not in these two tables. All right, so Asian and what was I looking for? Navy. Okay, so Asian is right here. Asian. Navy is right here. And so what you're looking for is what's the group that's in both? That's both Asian and Navy. It's right there, right? You're looking for the group that's both. So you want the probability of Asian and Navy. There's no rule for this. This is just understanding what the table is showing you. It'd be the probability of the overlap between the Asian row, or was Asian column, Asian column, and the Navy row. So you're looking for that overlap, and that would be 1514 over the grand total, 163582. And that's perfectly valid probability, but since they asked for four decimal places, I will find them. It's 1514 divided by 163582, and we get 0 0.0093 if we're rounding to four decimal places. That five rounds that two up. So we'll go with 0 0.0093. All right, now, they. what's the probability that they were Asian or recruited for the Navy? Oh, ooh. or. So that means we're going to use, now notice they have an overlap, so they're not disjoint. And that affects us down here, right? Because Asian and Navy are not disjoint. So therefore, I'm going to have to use rule number two. All right, so I'm going to take the probability of Asian or Navy is the probability of Asian plus the probability of Navy minus the probability of both. That's what rule number two says. Let me grab it for a second for you to see. So when they're not disjoint, you take the probability of Asian plus the probability of Navy, so you add them up, but you minus the probability of Asian and Navy, which is the overlap. All right, well, let's see here. Asian, so if I look at the total right here, Asian was 6344. So 6,344 Asian recruits to the military in 2018. And again, this is real data, or these are real data, I should say. And the Navy, there were 38,572 recruits into the Navy. Minus, but we just saw the overlap. That overlap is right here, right? So we want to take away that overlap. So we want to take away 1514. And since all of the fractions have the same denominator, we can just add and subtract. Simple as that. So let me grab a calculator again. 6344 plus 38572 minus 1514, and that's our new numerator. It'll be 43,402 over 163,582. And as with all of the problems so far, that's a perfectly valid probability, but they wanted four decimal places, so I will find it. And I get 0.2653 if I'm rounding to four decimal places. All right, well, that was so much fun. Let's do it again. <laughs> now, this one we had a little precursor because we'd already seen the 1514, and so we were using that 1514 right here. But what if you don't have a precursor and you have to do it? So we want to see if they're recruited for the Marines or they are white. Let's see here. Marines are right here. They're the third row. And white is the first column right here. So what we're going to do is the same thing we just did. They're not disjoint.
So we're going to have to add and subtract just like we did on the previous one. I'm actually just going to switch color to make things a little easier for ourselves. So rule number two, again. So we want the probability of marine or white is the probability of marine plus the probability of white. And if you think, well, I didn't know they were not disjoint, it's okay. You can still do it this way. And if you, when in doubt, go with rule number two and you'll be fine. So I'm going to rewrite that. Minus the probability of marine and white. Okay. So I'm just going to put that not disjoint bit over here so I have room. Okay. Marines. All right. Looking at the table, there were 31,000. 310 Marines in, um, recruited in 2018. And then for white, it was 86,553. And then we want to subtract away the overlap. And that overlap, you got to look. You want where white and Marine intersect. And it's right here. It's 17,853. So I'm going to take that away. 17,853. Yet again, they all have the same denominator, which makes life a lot easier for you because it means that you can just add and subtract without having to fuss around with common denominators and all that jazz. Thank goodness we're not in algebra class, right? So just add. Ooh, that's an 86. Oh my goodness. 86553. And we're slowly learning, oh, hey, fractions have their uses, right? So if you see what I mean, there are times where working with the fraction is actually easier than working with the decimal. And this is one of those times. The fractions are actually pretty straightforward. I'm getting so used to 163582. All right, 0.6114, because that 3 would be rounded up by that 7. All right, next example, what if they're not white? Oh, okay, so I see that piece right there and I'm thinking that's a complement rule. This is rule number three because it's complement, right? That negative voice word in there, not. All right, so that would be the probability of white complement. Right, is the probability of not white. They, they meet, are one and the same. They mean the same thing. Which according to the complement rule, rule number three is one minus the probability of white. That would be one minus, and then for white, it was 86,553. Now remember the trick. This one is any number over anything, right? You can put any number over itself. So I'm going to, in my head, well, actually, I'll write it out for you guys. It's 163,582. You don't have to write this. I generally don't, but just so you can see it. You're changing that one into 163,582 over itself. And that way they have the same denominator and you can combine them together. So if I grab the calculator and I tell it, hey, find 163582 minus 86553, it will do that and will tell me that it's 77,029 and I would divide that by 163582. So this is perfectly valid as a probability, but if they want decimal places, then we can do that. And we get 0.4709. Like that. All right, one last example. Which is more likely that a new recruit is Hispanic or the, um, was recruited for the Air Force? Interesting. Well, I think we can figure this out. Let's find the probability of Hispanic and then let's find the probability of Air Force and compare the two. Yes, I know 
we could compare this in a slightly different way, but I just want to help us think about probability because this is what probability is most useful for. So this is 32,670. And then this one is 30,001. So you can probably tell Hispanic is more likely. But nevertheless, I want to be able to find the decimals for both of these just so I can do a more direct comparison. Well, the comparison is pretty direct right now, but I'm shooting for something with this. So 32670 divided by 163582 versus 30,001 divided by 163582. So sure enough, we find that the probability of Hispanic is 0.1997 and the probability of Air Force is 0.1834. Now we knew that because if you compare the numerators, you can see Hispanic is larger. But I want to get at the idea of more likely because that's, this is what probabilities are useful for. So you can see Hispanic is more likely because it has a higher probability. And that's what's useful. Right, that's what probabilities are useful for, is showing us what's more likely. In other words, higher probability means more likely. They are one and the same.